Hello, and welcome to Two Dancing Clams. I am a huge fan of procedural geometry and procedural textures in Blender. I was eagerly waiting the new UV nodes to solve some of the outstanding problems I was having with trying to texture meshes created in geometry nodes. I managed to get the UV nodes to work sort of, but the resulting textures were fairly distorted, even on quite simple meshes, and the textures didn't move with the meshes. As I was working on an animation project in Geometry Nodes, this was quite a showstopper. In this video, I'll share a tip that I stumbled across that solves the UV mapping problem in a single step. We'll also briefly cover creating textures and animation inside Geometry Nodes. So to start with, this is the problem I was working on. I had this procedurally created logo, and on a procedurally created rod, and I had the idea that I wanted it to unfurl. So, and since I'm a procedural guy, um, I wanted to do this procedurally, geometry nodes. And it took me as long to get all of this working as it did to figure out how to make these wooden textures rotate with the objects. That's what led me to make this video. First thing I want to do is make sure that screen keys is on so you guys can see what I'm typing. And I'll also make sure that Node Wrangler is turned on. Edit Preferences, Add-ons, search for Node Wrangler, and it is on. Excellent. I don't want this cube right away, but I do want a plane. That's what I'm going to use for creating a texture. And let's create that texture now. So go into Shader Editor. I'm going to call this Voronoi because that's what it's going to be. Control T to get us these windows. Kill that to get us these windows. Kill these two, don't need them. Hook that up. Now, if we've done everything right, we should be able to see this. Let's go back to render settings. I want to be in cycles for this and a couple of reasons. Um, let's go ahead and change this to GPU compute while we're at it and switch this. And now we see our texture. I actually. I think it'll show up a little bit better if we are in distance to edge. Fantastic. Um, now I want to create an image file of this so we're not dealing with strictly procedural textures. So we create an image texture. We're going to bake to this. So we'll call this baked. 1K is fine for this little experiment. the baked is open. Go over here. Really simple. I'm going to change this to diffuse. I'm going to turn off the lights because we don't need them. And bake. And there's the texture we're going to play with. Cool. Now I want to be in geometry nodes. So let's do that. Now let's create something in geometry nodes. So we don't need this anymore. Let's bring back the cube. We'll use that for this. So we'll start with a cylinder. Give it six sides. We will set material to what we just created. And we get it. So this is OK. But let's go ahead and rotate this. Let's set position node. We will rotate a vector. What we will be rotating is the position of each vertex. We will rotate it by the frame, seam frame, get a little animation in here, and that's almost always too fast, so we'll change that to 50. So now we can rotate this. And you can see the problem I was up against. So the object rotates, the texture doesn't. Makes sense. So usually you would UV map the object before, but this object is not UV mapped. Let's go back to the here. Now 
Now, if we were UV mapped, we could just do that. Doesn't work, no UV map. And I thought maybe I could just use an image texture. And again, that doesn't work. Now we can give it a coordinate base. And this has two problems. One, again, the lack of UV mapping means the texture is not usable and it still doesn't rotate. The solution to this, and I can't believe it's so easy, and I don't know why it's kind of buried. Let's bring up the attribute window and type in, in all lowercase, UV underscore map. This is a built-in feature of Blender and on objects, simple objects that are created by Blender itself, it gives you a working UV map and voila. And now if we animate this, perfectly textured, texture moves with the object. This also works with the procedural texture, if that's the way you want it to go. And that's, it's as simple as that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video.